Okay, back again. Now, when it comes down to making a broom, I just actually got a dowel rod and I cut it um, because it was too long, but you just give it a, a dowel rod or a branch that's going to work for you and you get the size that you need. Of course, as we saw with my other broom, this one right here, this was about, um, I want to say maybe three feet, two and a half feet, three feet, I'm not really sure, I'm not really good with measuring and about an inch across, and then I just pinned it and added the branches to it. But you just get your rod or your branch or anything, and if you want to sand it and paint it, you can. I just pre-painted mine um, to make it easier on me to do. Now, with the actual brush part of your broom, whatever you use, um, if you can, then you might want to pre-soak it. And I've already done that with the set that I have right over here. These right down here, and I soaked them in the bathtub. These were already soaked along with those, so I didn't have to soak them as long this time. But you just you want to soak them overnight, so that way they'll be easier to work with. And you just put them in some warm water, and you just soak them overnight. So if you have a long bucket or anything like that, just, of course, you use your judgment, and then you just want to dry them off fairly well. So with the towels, just kind of dab at them. Don't get them too dry. There we go. And you're also going to want to have some twine. And I have two different colors, but that's okay for me. I don't want to use what you got. And you can use, um, I have some hip cord. It's about eight yards, 20 pound hip cord. Works pretty good. Didn't tear up my hands or anything like that. So what I did was I just took a couple branches. And I kind of sized it up kind of where I wanted it. Just like that. About two or three inches up. This is about maybe four inches up, but that's okay. And then I just took the cord. And act it. Like this. And then slid it under. Can't remove it. And just use a few branches at a time. Just a few branches at a time. And slide those in. And then kind of line them up as best you can. And then does it want to cooperate? There we go. And then you just take a piece and then you wrap. Wrap it a couple times. Make sure it's nice and tight or as tight as it's so much you get it. Just like that. And then And pull, and then just get some more, and then we tuck just like that. And which one I don't want to do? I'm going to want to do this one. And slide them up to meet. And flatten them down. Ah, that's why I have more than what I needed, but that's okay. You can bunch them up if you want. And then just wrap some more. And make sure you pull tight. 
And if you want to make sure that they're extra secure, you can go the other way with the other piece that you have, just like that. And then pull tight, and pull tight, and then pull that down out of your way, and move that over, just like that, and then get two more, just to do. And then slide them up. And then. And wrap. Oops, that piece wants to come apart. Right now. Pull real tight. Make sure it's tight. You have to try to keep in there a roll it. There we go. Just like that. And then, what I did, once I was done with the first go around, and you can space them out too. Once I was done with the first go around, I just tied it. Like this. In my clock, just like that, and then wrapped it a couple more times around both sides. And then knotted it off. And pull very tightly. There we go. And then I'm going to take some scissors. And snip, maybe, like that. And then you just do your second course. So then once you're done with that, you just, you can decorate it however you want. And when I'm done putting on the second course, I'm going to come back and then show you, um, oops, I want to move, um, tying it off a little bit lower. I think, and I'll be back.